Welcome everyone. This is the Jenkins Platform SIG meeting. We're at the end of February 27th uh, of February, yes, 2024. Today around the table, we have Kevin Martins and myself. Hello, Kevin. Uh, we don't have that many uh, things on the agenda today. The um, bullet plate things, I would say, like every uh, two weeks, uh, the open action items, the Java 21, the work that got released on agent and controller images, uh, the work in progress on images, the Docker-based quick start tutorials. And I thought we would have Nick Ryman today uh, talking about uh, the lock, uh, the plugin installation tool, but he's not there. So I don't know about the progress he may have uh, made on this subject. So let's get started. Um, the Blue Ocean Docker container, I know we have to communicate its deprecation on a way, uh, in a way or another. I got another question, not I, the Jenkins community got a question today about how to update the um, Blue Ocean Docker container on community.jenkins.io. So some people still use it and want to update it. And no, that is not possible. This thing is deprecated. So it's not a good idea to still use it and try to tweak it to get it to work with the latest Jenkins uh, controller version. Uh, best thing you should do is start from a fresh uh, Jenkins controller Docker image and then add the Blue Ocean plugin if you really need it. And frankly, these days, um, we had a, a discussion during the latest um, Jenkins Contributor Summit in Brussels, Belgium, uh, at the beginning of February, uh, about getting rid of Blue Ocean uh, for the infrastructure and and users of Jenkins. There is another plugin called Pipeline GraphView, if I'm not mistaken, and frankly, for most of the uses of Blue Ocean, it does a job. And we are in the process of rewriting the Docker. Uh, container tutorials. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. And most of them are based on Blue Ocean. And frankly, it's pretty easy to rewrite those tutorials, getting rid of Blue Ocean and switching to uh, the pipeline graph view. So yeah, if you want to do that, uh, please give a chance to pipeline graph view instead of trying to use the Blue Ocean Docker container, which is outdated. Okay, uh, done with the rant. <laughs> now, we still have the Java 21 support, 2 plus 2 plus 2 Java support plan. Mark, Mark is not available today. So I haven't seen any new uh, things in the discussion regarding the Jenkins enhancement proposal by Mark. Um, you know, February after FASDEM is more or less calm. So I don't think there is anything new. As far as I know, woohoo. Okay, yes, last comment was on January. So once again, during the latest Contributor Summit, there were some very interesting discussions uh, about how to handle um, the um, update of the Java version supported by, by Jenkins. So of course, we will still discuss it with the rest of the community and make a final proposal one of these days. <laughs> Kevin, would you have any question or comment about that? No, no additional contacts on my side. Thank you, though. Thank you, Kevin. Now, for the release work on agent and controller images, nothing really fancy these days. We have, of course, two new controller weekly, 2.446 and 2.447. Of course, we had the update to the Jenkins of the right version. And frankly, the only thing that I noticed was that we moved from an older version of Bookworm Linux to 24 February 11 version. And that's all. Of course, we had a new LTS, uh, a controller LTS 2.440.1 image with, of course, quite a few changes because it's 12 weeks of, or so of uh, changes from an LTS to another LTS. So we had quite a lot of uh, bumps in the version of the supported uh, operating system for UB9, Debian, Alpine Linux. Uh, we have changed the latest Java releases because we were using some, uh, I would say, a few weeks or a few months uh, old uh, Java releases. And um, there is a, a process of releasing regularly Java releases. So we had to uh, use the 
latest uh, Java releases. We also have moved, I think it's most of Mark Waits' uh, work, uh, consistent jailing orgs within Java version, because in uh, several Docker files, we had different ways of um, putting argument into jailing um, command. In fact, not all images are built this way, but for some of our uh, Docker images, we start with downloading uh, the um, um, JDK from uh, Temurin, and then we run the gelling command with some arguments in order to have a very tailored version of uh, the JDK for the architecture and the operating system we are building on. We also have add the Java 21 Windows container and Mark and Kenneth Salerno have worked on removing the PPC 64 LE uh, JDK 21 preview images and replace them with an official uh, JDK 21 image. Um, yeah, and that's most of the thing that I noted in the latest LTS. For the Docker agent, there is nothing new happening. And for the SSH agent, we only had one version bump leading to just one new release, which also uh, was about the update of the Debian bookworm Linux to the February version. We still have the same work in progress on images for the controller. So it's mostly Hervé's work about uh, adapting the GDK 11 and GDK 17 manifests for Windows. It has been running for a while. It's not, it's still in draft, you know, uh, it's not, it has not been reviewed yet. And now for uh, the last subject I had in mind, it's about Docker based quick start tutorials. So we've been uh, working on that since uh, last year, I would say. We created a subject, we proposed a subject for GSOC 2023 about how to rewrite uh, the existing Docker tutorials that were pretty intimidating, <laughs> I would say, uh, before even touching anything uh, directly linked to Jenkins, you had to do quite a lot of configuration. And frankly, as a new user, I, yeah, I don't know if I would have made it to the end of the tutorial. Anyhow, so we were working last year with a contributor of GSOC 2023, Ashutak Saxina, and he went with um, an idea of um, a new repository in which you would have Docker files and a Docker Compose file defined. And using just one command would allow you to have a Jenkins instance working on your machine in the cloud wherever, we just one comment. That was the, the goal of that. And so after uh, GSOC project finished, we decided to change the documentation in order to use that uh, repository. And we already have done the Maven tutorial, the Python tutorial, the Node tutorial um, has been written, but is currently in the review. Thank you, Kevin, for the review, by the way. And now we are working on the multi-branch pipeline tutorial. The last one we will have to work on is the main Docker um, installation tutorial. It's not the Docker installation. It's a Jenkins installation thanks to Docker. And I think in this one, we also have the infamous Docker in Docker. And that may not be needed. So that's why we are rewriting that. Um, after that, we should be more or less done with the rewriting of the tutorials um, using Docker. Kevin, would you have any common question about this subject? Uh, just thank you for all the work on this, Bruno, and thanks for uh, oh. getting everything to this point. I know the Google Summer of Code stuff ended a while ago, but uh, the work that you and Ashutosh have done is great. and. I'm just really looking forward to when we get to that installation do uh, documentation piece because uh, I'm ready to help. Yeah, and it's already helping people. That's what I like. In fact, sometimes in Gitter or in community.jenkins.io, I have some people saying, oh, I've tried the Docker tutorial. It doesn't work for me. It's too hard or whatever. Say, so, hey, could you just try that? And <laughs> sometimes it works. And people give us some feedback, say, oh, it worked for me. So... Yeah, uh, for me, that's a gift, you know, uh, working or something and then having people use it and it simplifies their daily routine with Jenkins. Wow, that's something amazing. So yeah, we'll continue doing that. Um, yeah, 
Kevin, uh, would you have any other subject I forgot to address today? Um, the only thing that I had that I thought could potentially be interesting here is uh, doing the change log for the weekly release today. It looks like there was an update to Stapler. And I don't know if that's necessarily relevant here or if that would just be better uh, kept for other meetings. But yeah, I figured I'd throw it out there since it was specifically a developer note. Okay. Uh, would you have a link to share or something for me? Or I will find it, but Oh, thank you. So... Yeah, sorry, I was uh, I was just looking for the link. Um, no, no, yeah. that's okay. Yeah, of course, it's there. Oh. <laughs> so, update Stapler form twenty to eighty thirty nine nine Java. Okay, and it's specifically compatibility with the content security security policy plugin. Um, oh, but I figured that's probably something important to note if it's going to have to do with CSP. Um, so. Yeah, that's all. Okay, thanks for that. Mm -hmm. um, that's all, though. Yeah, let's copy that. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it should be good. There we go. Thank you, Kevin. Anyhow, uh, it looks like we have covered all the subjects had in mind. So that's a wrap up. Thanks a lot, Kevin, for your time. Uh, the video should be available from 24 to 48 eight hours. And we'll see each other two weeks from now. <laughs> Until then, happy Jenkins. Bye-bye. <laughs>